This famous car from the movie Back to the Future used some pretty strange fuels to make its trips through time. But today, faced with tough new clean air standards, energy companies are developing a whole new generation of clean air fuels that could really take us into the 21st century. This RTD bus is a glimpse of the future. It doesn't use traditional diesel fuel. It's part of the largest clean air fuel demonstration project in the world. Things are changing rapidly for us. Uh, a lot of our RTD's director of equipment maintenance is Rich Davis. In our efforts to get to clean air, uh, we're looking at these various technologies, trying to find a cheap, reliable way of getting there. Our attitude is, is let's help influence the future. Let's make some things happen. We could certainly see a... Uh, Paul a Webbin is a clean fuel specialist with the South Coast Air Quality Management District. The basic model we're trying to uh, emulate in the transportation sector is the model that we've had uh, in the United States and in California for many years in the utility sector. There are eight divergent alternative fuel sources for utilities. They can use natural gas. They can use fuel oil, they can use nuclear, you can use hydro. There is a, a diversity of choice, and that diversity does not exist in the transportation sector because we are 100% dependent on, on petroleum. Today, there are several major alternative fuels already in use on America's highways. Methanol, ethanol, propane, compressed natural gas, and reformulated gasoline. We'll look at three of the most promising options. Our RTD's 30 low-emission methanol-powered buses are helping to clean the air in Southern California, and 300 more are on the way. For 25 years, methanol has been popular in the world of auto racing because of its high performance and the fact that it's less flammable than gasoline. Roger Penske is a champion race car driver and owner. He's been equally successful as an engine manufacturer, new car dealer, and truck leaser. Well, certainly methanol, the flash point is higher, so from the standpoint of fire, we see that it's, it's been a safer fuel for us. We get a better burn and we get more power. It's amazing. We took some buses to high altitude that we put on uh, and methanol, and the driver said, geez, these perform better. Well, methanol does give you a little bit better performance. Along with methanol, RTD is road testing a second clean air alternative fuel, compressed natural gas, or CNG. Detlef Stevenson is manager of natural gas vehicles for the Southern California Gas Company. Once it's in service, the customer's using the bus, the driver driving the bus, see absolutely no difference. The only difference is at the tailpipe and what comes out of the tailpipe. With a natural gas powered bus, it is emitting significantly fewer hydrocarbons, significantly fewer NOx, nitrous oxides, both of which are the prime causes of the smog. My message is that it is not a fuel of the future, it's a fuel for today. Southern California Gas Company is installing 51 stations between now and the end of 1993. The world's oil companies are far from ignoring all this talk of alternative fuels. In response to the increasing environmental imperatives, ARCO is a leader with ECX, a cleaner burning reformulated gasoline. For the president of ARCO Products Company, George Babigan, reformulated gasoline makes wide-scale development of alternatives like methanol and CNG impractical and unnecessary. Reformulated gasoline is the most cost-effective and least disruptive way to clean up the air. The automobiles that will be produced three and four years from now with the technological improvements combined with a gasoline like ECX will result in virtually no pollutants coming out of the tailpipe. There isn't any alternate fuel that is going to be cost effective compared to that kind of uh, emission level. Other alternative fuel advocates don't agree. But cost is a critical factor in developing a future fuel strategy. In the short run, changing to alternative fuels will demand changes in vehicle manufacturing and fuel delivery systems. But long-range dependence on a single, non-renewable energy source could be even more costly. Charles Imbrecht is chairman of the California Energy Commission. Each of the alternative fuels have their own particular strengths, and they need to be used in an integrated plan uh, to take advantage of those strengths to the maximum extent possible. Frequently, air quality problems are a function of how we produce and consume energy in a modern society. In this instance, uh, we can diversify the fuel mix and we can dramatically improve air quality because each of the alternatives uh, represent an improvement compared to conventional uh, gasoline and diesel of at least 50 percent. 
Helping make energy choices is one of the reasons RTD established this high-tech emission testing facility, evaluating most of the major fuel alternatives. Vince Pellegrin is an RTD senior engineer. The RTD is currently running uh, experiments and looking at all of the uh, leading technologies to reduce emissions from transit buses. Most of the buses are out at the operating divisions carrying passengers in regular revenue service at the RTDs, taking what's been done in the laboratory with this technology and introducing it into the real world. RTD testing continues, but already it's apparent that there's room for many clean air fuel alternatives. Reformulated gasoline is a much uh, improved gasoline product compared to conventional gasoline. Methanol represents the single most important opportunity in the near term to display petroleum fuels and is 50 percent cleaner than reformulated gasoline. Compressed natural gas is a key to our long, medium and long-term future and also um, short-term fleet needs for cleaner fuels. We're still developing the final fuel mix to take us into the 21st century, but developing energy alternatives will mean cleaner air at the end of the road. I'm a grandfather. I've got seven grandkids here. I don't want them growing up with lung damage. We want to be part of the solution. Maybe if we can do a few things right in terms of alternate fuel development, and rail, and electric, and clean and air environment, way, if in a small way you've paid a part in that, that's something you can feel pretty proud about. You feel good about that.